pivotal moment in the 2016 race, now less than 48 hours from the Democratic National Convention in Philadelphia. Hillary Clinton introducing running mate Tim Kaine this afternoon at a rally in Florida, a critical battleground in her race against Donald Trump. And Trump wasting no time unleashing a tweet storm. Let's start with Cecilia tonight in Florida with the new ticket. The name of that ticket right there on those freshly painted signs. And on that stage, Hillary Clinton and Tim Kaine together for the first time as running mates. Clinton introducing her pick to the country. Make no mistake, behind that smile, Tim also has a backbone of steel. Just ask the NRA. The Virginia senator and former governor who was passed over for the VP job by President Obama eight years ago, this time beat out 23 other candidates. Today in Miami, the microphone catching Clinton cheering Kane on, telling him, go get him. Kane Spanish learned when he was a missionary in Honduras on full display. Y bienvenidos a todos. The other pluses he brings to the ticket? From his years in the Senate, the national security and foreign policy experience Clinton wanted, he could also help bring much needed white male voters to her side. While we're on the subject of taxes, where are Donald Trump's tax returns? Kane already assuming the role of attack dog against Donald Trump. Do you want a you're fired president or a you're hired president? And today, Trump unveiling his new nickname for the newest member of the ticket. Trump calling him corrupt Kane and a career politician. Trump also tweeting, just saw crooked Hillary and Tim Kane together. ISIS and our other enemies are drooling. They don't look presidential to me. Clinton quickly coming to her new partner's defense. Senator Tim Kane is everything Donald Trump and Mike Pence are not. And Cecilia Vega joins us from Miami. Cecilia, Tim Kaine has described himself as a boring guy. What was the reaction inside that hall? Yeah, Tom, and Hillary Clinton has said Tim Kaine being boring doesn't matter to her. Inside this hall, I can tell you 5,000 people, they certainly did not think Tim Kaine was boring today. They were energized by him. They certainly seemed to love the fact that he spoke so much Spanish here in Miami. Now, before Tim Kaine and Hillary Clinton hit the campaign trail together once again, he said he's got big plans for tomorrow. Tom, he is going to church with his family. Cecilia, thank you. I want to bring in ABC's John Carl, who's in Philadelphia, the site of the Democratic Convention next week. John, Clinton's selection of Tim Kaine also has a lot to do with the electoral map when it comes to trying to beat Trump. That was a key factor, Tom. Virginia is central to their electoral strategy. Tim Kaine is popular in Virginia. In, Virginia. in fact, he has run for office eight times there, and he has never lost. And Tom, there's no accident that this announcement was in Florida. The Clinton team believes that if they can win Florida and Virginia, they've won the election.